Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do an Eclipse Energy reading for you. We're just going to see what the Eclipse is going to do for you. You know, this may or may not be for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not every reading is for you, so just keep that in mind. We're just going to see what my guides have to say. What's, what's, what's this going to do for you? What is this going to do for you, Libra? How is this going to affect you? What is this going to do for you? What what kind of emotions is it going to bring up? What's it going to, what's how's it going to affect you? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What my guides have to say. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Libra for this eclipse energy? It's July fifteenth through the thirty first. Basically, a tarot reading for that time with this with the eclipse energy in there, the full moon. What do we have for Libra? Ooh, envy. Somebody's jealous. It's somebody is jealous. Somebody is. Whether it's you or the other person, we have some jealousy here. We have somebody who, you know, sees sees somebody living living really good and they're jealous. So going to be at the surface. It is. This could be you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that may react out of envy. They may react out of jealousy. They could be jealous of you. You could be jealous of them. Whatever. There's definitely some jealousy here. Could have to do with a partnership. Okay. Because of that too. Um, this is also has to do with judgment. I mean, you got to think about this. It does. Somebody may, mis may be misjudging a situation. You know, they may think that somebody has it all but they really don't you know it may look good on the outside but it may not be what you think it is on the inside anyhow um let's get one of these there's envy finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now that makes sense now, doesn't it? It does. I think that, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and keep it because that's what it is. We do we do have some financial issues right now. And I think that that's where this envy comes from. You may, you may want some things that you can't get. Um, maybe you're trying to keep up with the neighbors, trying to keep up with your friends, whatever. Maybe things aren't going the way that you'd hoped. Maybe there's just not enough money to go around. What do we got for Libra? Alchemy. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Alchemy. We're going to go ahead and read it. The path you are on is about to go through a very, very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems. Isn't that freaking amazing? Because I mentioned it with this card. Nothing is as is as it seems, and that and it's it's amazing the connection <clears throat> that I have. You have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness. It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You have access to the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They are on, the, they are on their way to coming true. Let go of your expectations. What is about to appear can surpass anything you have dreamed of. The most important part is that you are prepared and ready to receive. The energy around you is very potent at the moment, so make sure that you are using this time as productively as possible. Give yourself time for prayer, gratitude, and celebration. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out a part to you. Let go 
of your expectations. This is not what you expect. What is about to appear can surpass anything that you have dreamed of. So that means that it's not what you expect. It's not. Whatever this is, it's going to help with your finances. It's going to help. Okay? Trust me. It is. It's going to help with your finances. So, Libra. It's going to help with your love life, too. It could be a new lover coming in. Or it could be, I don't know who it is. Whoever this is, is going to help you financially. And you have the power. You're about to go through a major transformation. What do we have for Libra? Ooh. Hi, Sagittarius. It's Ooh. Jennifer from Sorry. Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do a reading for the Eclipse Energy. Sorry. I don't know how that happened. I don't. My computer is way over there. I mean, literally way over there. I had to move my chair. I'm not even close to it. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Maybe you got a, maybe you got a Sagittarius coming into your life, or who knows? Who knows? Um, something could happen out of the blue, just like that did. Anyhow, and this is unexpected. This is unexpected fortune. The Four of Wands reverse is unexpected fortune. There could be an upcoming celebration. You know, where you unexpectedly run into somebody or you meet somebody and you have a deep bond with them. A relationship could be more committed. You could you could run right into a commitment. Okay? Um, this could have to do with your family. It could have to do with, you know, one of your family members. I don't know. Um, Queen of Pentacles, reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this could be a mother. Um, this is ungrounded unrealistic oh, this person isn't stable insecure this could be you not enough money ten of pentacles money's coming it could it, it, you know I'm almost I'm not sure what this is if this could be like an inheritance or something or a gift of money because this is unexpected fortune as well so I'm not sure if you're going to be getting money from somebody or you're going to get a raise. But this is this is this is Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is some but this is not working hard enough. Uh, well, we're going to get some more cards. Five of Swords. Oh my god, this is painful. This is painful. This is defeat. This is defeat. So, hmm. Justice. You're going to get something. Something's going to go in your favor. favor. You, this is a legal situation turning out in your favor. You're about to get some sort of justice. Something is going to turn out in your favor. Something unexpectedly is going to turn out in your favor. You're going to get something. Ooh. It is definitely going to be unexpected. Now, this is a false contract right here. And this is a contract. This is a contract, karmic. And this is a false contract. But somebody has been stubbornly holding on to a false contract. Well, son of a bitch. Yeah. Yep. Somebody has been. Somebody has been. There has been a false contract. There has been. Somebody may have signed a false contract. And there's some sort of legal issue. And it's, it's going to be judged in your favor if this is for you. Okay. Something is going to be judged in your favor. Now, this right here is... A very wise individual, an older person, who it feels like this person is going to be giving something to you. That is abundance right there. That Ten of Pentacles is abundance. Defeated. This is seeing the light. Somebody has become enlightened. They have taken the time. 
to refocus, to replan. Somebody has replanned something. There's been another. There's a new plan. Holding on to a dead end. Some, the holding on is getting old. Somebody has been unable to release a false contract. They have. Stubbornly holding on to a dead end. But now the final decision has been made, or it's about to be made. Yes, the final the decision has been made. Somebody has made the decision. They have been awakened. They've woken up. Somebody has woken up. And it looks like... I look... Hold on. Let me get this... Fix this up. It looks to me like we have somebody here that is giving up on a dead end. Okay? This is giving up. There's no drive. There's no desire. There's no passion. There's, you know... Uh, no desire, no growth. Somebody's giving up. They don't have any energy. There's no energy. Somebody has made a decision to give up on a dead end. <clears throat> and because they do, they're going to get something that they deserve. This is getting something that you deserve. And it's going to happen unexpectedly. I think you're going to get some sort of money. <laughs> you know, and I know that doesn't really fit. But, it, I mean, you're going to get some sort of, maybe it's an inheritance or it's a raise or it's a gift of money. Um... could be some, from somebody that uh, this person is very wise this person is an older person this person is um, a loner this person is this could be like a guidance person somebody that you go to for guidance somebody that um, it could be a father um, whoever this person is this person is going to bring you justice. Could be a Virgo. You could have a Virgo coming into your life. Doesn't have to be. <clears throat> There's been a new plan. There's a new plan here. There is a new plan. You don't even see it coming. You don't. You don't. You're, you, things are about to change for you in a huge way. Huge. This Five of Swords, this is severing of ties. Five of Swords is severing ties. You aren't going to have to worry anymore. You're not going to have to worry anymore. It's like the fault severing ties with the false contract is going to bring you something that you deserve. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. You could have been dealing with another Libra. You could have been dealing with a Gemini. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel as though... A decision has been made. To change a contract. And your money issues are going to change. Whatever that means. And I think that they are going to change for the better. Somebody is going to help you. Okay. Somebody is somebody with a really big heart is coming to help you this person is compassionate this person is caring this person is loving if you are the male watching this this could be your mother it could be a girlfriend it could be somebody new I don't know who it is but this is somebody who you know this person is very intuitive this person is kind she's generous and she has love to offer so there's an offer of love here there's emotional support you're, you, somebody is swooping in. Look at this. Somebody is swooping in to help you with this change. You are about to experience a major life change. And it's really going to fulfill your heart. Your heart is going to be like, I can't even believe this is happening. Just like this. It's like your heart is going to be so happy. It is. I feel like you have somebody coming in to help you you know go through some sort of major life change whatever this is I, I don't know what it is but help is arriving and and this is is this loving this is loving very very loving this is intense it's um it's a very emotional time um this is this is somebody who wants to probably 
they're very in interested in you. They probably want to have a relationship with you. You know, they're interested in supporting you for sure. They see you as, they see your heart too. They see your kindness. Now this universe, this is unfinished business. This may be somebody that you have unfinished business with from the past. This may be um, somebody that actually helps you to bring closure to your past. Closure, okay, because that, that, this is karmic and this is lesson. So somebody has been holding on to a karmic situation and I think it's it, the holding on has gotten to the point where you can't hold on anymore this person's now giving up or they have given up completely now we have this person that is coming in with a lot of tender loving care this person is just like really tender loving care you know a whole lot of tender loving care this person is coming with not only tender loving care they probably got some money too so i feel like so you are about to you could receive an inheritance or a gift of money or whatever this is you're about to receive some sort of financial benefit from somebody who really cares about you that's what this is this person really 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 cares about you um and this is just like a change of plans it's a change of plans um, you don't even see it coming. You don't even see it coming. You might not get the closure that you need or that you were looking for from your karmic, but there's a reason. There's a reason because there's a, there's, there's, there is a reason. There's always a reason. You have something bigger and better. So Libra, I feel like you guys are going in a new direction whether you like it or not I do I feel like you are about to maybe be maybe you're gonna you know there's some ties gonna be severed maybe you're gonna go your own way and you have somebody that's coming to help you you know they're coming to help you financially because you need the money I don't know it's like you're on your own you are on your own now nine of pentacles you're on your own but you have some help from somebody and this help has to do with money okay not only does it have to do with money, it has to do with love. So this is this is love and money. So this you're going to be receiving some sort of financial abundance from somebody. And it's not only... And I don't know if you're going to receive it during this time, but this is when it starts. Okay, this is when the process starts. Because it takes time for, you know, abundance to grow. So I think we got somebody here that is has been watching they've been planning they've they've changed the contract they've changed the plan and they're 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 they're, they're unexpectedly you're going to receive some unexpected fortune that is going to allow you to feel good it's going to allow you to feel abundant it's going to make you a whole lot more comfortable it's going to help you to heal your heart okay so I know that came through a little confusing, but I think things are really going to get better for you. Um, and I think it's because somebody releases, somebody releases, you know, this death card is releases the dead end. It's like they give up, they give up from holding on. And when you, when you, when you, um, align with the universe, good things happen. So, you know, some of you may be getting into a new commitment, okay? A new commitment. You may be getting engaged. If you're single, you may go to a celebration where you meet this person and they got money. <laughs> I don't know. This could go so many different ways. For some of you, this is an inheritance. For some of you, it's a gift of money. Whatever it is, your financial issues are about to change and I think your love life is too. Good luck.